Hey there, everybody, and welcome to the channel. I'm your host, Rama, and in today's video, we are going to be taking a look at the changes to air freight cargo in Grand Theft Auto Online. In the latest update, there were two major changes. The first, we have Rooster McCraw. Now, Rooster McCraw is very simple. You pay him $25,000, and in 48 minutes, he will return with a crate. We can see he has returned me four crates in total so far. There's a 75% chance he'll come back with two, and a 25% chance he will come back with one crate. Now, to be completely honest, I actually think he's kind of a waste of time. And the main reason behind that is because of the fact that he doesn't source you the same crate. It would be nice if Rockstar allowed him to source the same type of cargo over and over. But if we take a look, he sourced me one narcotic, one jewelry and gemstone, and two tobacco and alcohol. And this is rather disappointing. I was hoping that Rockstar was going to allow us to pick what he sourced on a little drop-down menu, and then we would pay more for certain goods because they're worth more than others the more you gather. With this, the problem is that you don't get nearly as much money on a sale mission. For example, if you have 50 out of 50 counterfeit goods, you're going to get an additional like 50% on your sale mission for having all one type of goods in your sale mission. If you split that up to 25 and 20, you cut your profit in half. And if you split it up all across randomly, you're basically going to get no increase in payout whatsoever for the more goods you acquire. This is a massive problem for this business. I think Rockstar kind of messed this up because right now it costs $25,000 to source a crate worth $30,000. And you have a 25% chance to get an additional $30,000 extra for getting two crates in one source. So you will make more money than you're spending, but it's really not that much more. You're gonna make like maybe fifty, forty thousand dollars an hour doing this, and you're gonna have to make sure you keep going back to your hangar for this. It's just not that effective of a business, to be completely honest. I would much rather suggest just to source your own product rather than having Rooster McCraw do it. Now, the other change that was done to the air freight cargo is now you can do it on land, which is a bit interesting because this whole business is based off of air stuff, but I wanted to test out how the land sources were. So we're gonna do the hardest source, which is chemicals, and we're gonna do a land source. Something I would suggest to do, which I just learned, is that you cannot go back into your hangar, which is actually really annoying because you can if you do a air mission but if you do a land mission, you're not allowed back inside your hangar. And what that means is that you should, like, right before you do the source mission, park whatever jet or aircraft you want to use right outside your hangar. You can see I've done that right here. It's way, way easier to do this because now, instead of using the land vehicle they want me to use, we can just use the new F-160 ride you and complete this a heck of a lot faster. So for this mission, they want me to go to the Alamo Sea. I hope I don't need to do anything at the sea. It looks like we are right at the edge. I'm really hoping we don't need to use a boat or something like that because uh, that'll be really annoying. Technically, it won't even be a land mission. It'll be a sea mission. But let's make our way over to the area they want me to go to. Let's go into hover mode really quickly. Oh yeah, I can already see that there's a barge out in the water. They're gonna be like, oh, my name's Rooster McCraw. Go over to the barge on the dinghy. All right, well, let's go over here. Oh, and they're shooting at me. Board the barge. Well, the good news is because, again, we're using an F-160 Raiju, I would highly suggest for any type of mission like these, I would just use a helicopter, like the Sparrow, if you don't have a lot of money. Uh, the Buzzard's a great option, or I would suggest as a much, much better option, just a Hydra or an F-160 Raiju. So we just gotta kill these guys really quickly, which should be pretty dang easy. We can just use our explosive MG and just kinda hit all the areas here. Yep, 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 yep. There you go, there you go. Nice! Alright, that was pretty easy so far. Alright, it's not even sliding. I was really worried that it was gonna slide into the water. So we gotta go locate the release switch, which is, uh, somewhere. I'm not, not exactly sure where, but it's somewhere on the barge. Oh, there it is. Okay, activate the release switch. There you go. Now we gotta find the cargo, which is... Oh my god, now we gotta go swimming for the cargo. Cringe. Oh, this is deep! Oh, should I have grabbed rebreathers? Uh, well, there's no going back now. Oh my god, that is so deep! What the heck? Alright, well, where's the cargo? Is it... Is it down here? Is, is this it? Hello? Enter the Aviza! Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? 
Oh, this game is cringe. This game is cringe. Well, this mission doesn't appear to be hard, but it seems to be a little annoying. All right, let's go down with our visa. Down we go. Well, you know what? To be fair, it's probably a lot easier than uh, than swimming down here. Uh, God, this thing turns really slow. All right, there's the crate. Dive the Aviza, drive on onto the cargo. Oh, okay, that was pretty easy. Now what do we do? We just go back up to the surface, like, yep. Take the narcotics to the shore, of course. How far away exactly is that shore? Oh my god, it's so far away. I mean, we shouldn't have to worry about anybody shooting us because we're obviously in a, we're, we're in a sub, so I'm not gonna have to worry about that, but this mission's a little cringe, I'm not gonna lie. And we've brought the narcotics to the shore. I don't know why we couldn't just bring them to the shore we were at before, but let me guess, now we're gonna have to drive the vehicle. Yep, oh my god. This is awful. This is absolutely awful. This better count as more than one single narcotic, because if it doesn't, I'm gonna be so, so dang mad. In total, this mission took us about nine minutes to complete, which is actually not as bad as I thought, but, uh, Definitely not the most exciting mission ever. Let's see how many narcotics we got sourced for that. Yep, one, yay. Oh boy, this is the problem with cargo and it's the same thing I've said multiple times before. I don't know why they can't make it just like, you know, special cargo where you can source four crates at once. I don't know why they can't do that. I would totally do that and go back and forth and do it. It would be way more efficient than what Rockstar had us do here. I'm gonna try one more source, and we'll see uh, what, what another one's like. So let's do chemicals really quick. Land. I just realized my Raiju's not right outside, but that's fine. We should be able... No. 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 No! You can't be real! Oh, please don't tell me it's the same thing. I'm not even getting out my Raiju if it is. I'm gonna just get out a freaking laser and land on the barge. I swear to God, Rockstar. Well, you'll never guess what. There's another barge in the ocean. That's crazy. Oh my God. Who would have guessed that? Rockstar, I'm going to, I'm gonna do some nasty things. I don't even know what to say. I am so mad. Oh my God. I cannot believe this company. I, why do they make it so you have to do the same mission again? Well, the second time through, I was able to shave off a little bit of time. It took me about seven minutes to do it rather than the, what, almost 10 minutes previously. Oh, I went past the checkpoint, but, uh, Still, this, this absolutely sucks. Like, this is one of the lamest missions I've ever done in a while. I don't know why Rockstar ever can't add exciting missions. They, they add missions that are just so dang bad. But, let's make our way back up to the top of our, of our base once again, so that we can start another mission. If we get the same one again, I'm, I'm closing my GTA and telling Rockstar to suck a big fat one, so... Let's see, sitting down at our chair, let's go back to sourcing narcotics. Hopefully, Rockstar has made a different mission for me to do. Source, narcotics, select, land. Here we go. I swear to God, if it says Alamo C. Okay, there you go. We got something different. We have made it to the deal. Had to get out my Raiju, and I forgot it was destroyed from uh, my previous attempt. But let's just blow some stuff up, because that's apparently what they want me to do. Search the area for the narcotics. Well, this one seems a little bit easier, so I'm not gonna complain. This one seems like blow uppy, killy, smashy, mashy, bang, bang, which is exactly what I like to do. So we're just gonna use the missiles on our F-160 because they seem to be doing the job. We can blow up this van though. Nah, 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 nah. All right, uh, there are the narcotics. Oh no, it's one of these again. Find a truck cab to, okay, well. This game is not gonna stop me. You ever seen off-roading in a semi-truck? <laughs> I haven't, and I don't want to. It's not going great, but yeehaw, partner, let's keep on going. Woo-wee! It's not going great, but uh, it worked. We made it across. So, what are my final thoughts about the missions? So what are my final thoughts about the changes and buffs to air freight cargo? Well, the Rooster McCraw thing is not bad. You just... So what are my final thoughts about the changes to air freight cargo and the overall 
So what are my final thoughts about the changes to air freight cargo? Well, first of all, I think that the overall Rooster Macraw edition is very nice. You can very easily go to start, go to online, and find a new session, setting your spawn location to the hangar, and just walk over the Rooster Macraw, pay him the $25,000, he'll go source you a crate or two, and then just go back to whatever you're doing after that. With fast traveling, it's very easy to take advantage of getting yourself a crate very easily. So the little passive way of making money is not bad. It is still free money in the background. As I said, I really wish Rockstar would have let you pick what crates he sourced for a higher price or fee, but oh well, there's not much I can say about that. That part of the business is a flat buff, and it's a little nice. The land missions are just as bad as the air missions, to be completely honest. If not, they're worse. Like that Avisa one where we have to go into the ocean, and yeah, that one sucks. I'll be honest. That one absolutely sucks. Uh, I did another mission off camera yesterday to see how they were, and that one Rooster McCraw had his plane shot down, so we had to go pick up the narcotics. That one was really, really easy. Just had to blow some people up, steal them, and go back to the hangar. This one's pretty easy as well. It'll only take me about maybe seven, eight minutes, but that is eight minutes still, and it only takes me about six to seven minutes to do the air missions. What I will leave off on when it comes to air freight cargo is, once again, it is only an effective business if you have four to three people helping you. Apart from that, it's not effective. So, if you're a solo player, all I would su suggest to do is pay Rooster Macraw and go back to your day doing whatever you're doing for money-making methods, as this is still not a very viable method for solo players. Rockstar, if you're ever watching this video, which you're probably not, nor would you ever, but if Rockstar were to watch this video, the main bit of advice I could give them is just allow us to source three or four crates at a time, and that would be as simple as it is. Just let us go back and forth, just like Special Cargo, and then get four crates. It would be a lot easier, a lot faster, and make a lot more money, and actually make this business this somewhat viable, but oh well. Hopefully you enjoyed today's video, and if you'd like to see more like this, please consider smashing that subscribe button down below. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye!